Chord progressions uh, are what music gives music direction, and the chord progressions are what songs are made of. So if you or somebody were to say, well, come up and play with us, and you go, well, I don't know the song, and they say, well, it's in C and it's one, four, five. Now, to me, that makes perfect sense, but to some people, they would go, is this some sort of math problem or something? So let's talk a little bit about what they're talking about. First off, that you say, what key are we in? And they say, we're in the key of C. Well, if you've done your homework, you know the key of C has no sharps and no flats. So that's a good starting point, because now you know you, have, you can use the key of C to play. If they want you to do a solo, you go, well, I, I know I can stay in the key of C. And the progression they're saying is it's one, four, five, which is very common. Uh, it's the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. Well, how do I find that? First, let's go back to basics. Let's find the key of C. Just know where your home is. The key of C starts here. There's the C scale up to G. Uh, and then there's no sharps and no flats. So the one chord is built on the one, the three, the five. You always start on the one. In this case, C is the one. One, three, five. C, E, G. Now, let's go to the four chord. Find the four chord. One, two, three. F is the four chord in the key of C because it's the fourth note. Now build, us, build a, uh, an arpeggio on that. One, three, five, which is F, A, C. Okay, let's find the five chord. It's on G. G, B, D. So now I know what the chords are. I know how I can, I can uh, uh, play in this key. I haven't got to the soloing part. Let's just, let's just say that uh, you're supposed to just comp along with them. Comping is just like this. Comping is not the melody, it's just like... player, listen to the drum player, see what kind of uh, beat they're doing, try to do what they're doing. Okay, so back to the progression. Uh, now I'm going to just comp along in that progression. Now let's, let's uh, have the camera over here. Now I'm going to do the C, E, and G. Now remember, I have a low D pan, so I don't, my, the big C that most people have is not there. Well, let's do C, E, and G. Now I just have to pick two of these notes. I'm going to pick these two, E and G, E and G. Now I could put, pick C and G, E, but... I'm going to pick these. Here's the first chord is C E G. Second chord F A C. Third chord G B D. Back to C. Here it is again, slower. C F chord. I'm going to hit them all. G B D C. Now, if I was going to do a solo in this key, I would maybe consider just doing chord tones because I want to stay safe. I don't want to play anything weird. So let's, let's imagine that uh, here's the, the solo. I'm going to stay safe. Chord tone, G, B, D, C, E, G. F, A, C, G, B, D. Okay, so the key words to remember in this, and this is pretty elementary. Uh, chord tones, and then also uh, rhythmic. I hope I spelled that right. I'm just doing chord tones, but I'm playing them in a different rhythm, so that it kind of seems like I'm not just playing chord tones. Now, along with that, then you can start using some embellishments, so it sounds like you kind of know what you're doing. Like this, I'm going to play C, uh, E and G. Here's the first chord. Well, instead of doing that, I could do an embellishment. I did E flat to E, A flat to A. Start to put in some embellishments so that it doesn't just sound like you're doing a chord, uh, just doing, which is okay. But if you want a solo, you have to play something different. I did the chord tones and I did an embellishment on the top one. I'm still playing in the chord tones. I'm just playing E, G, C, E. I'm not playing weird you got to stay in the box if you want to sound like you know what you're doing. That's kind of the basis of improvisation. Now, different keys will follow the same pattern, but you the, the, the follow the same rules. But like in the key of F, you have to worry about F and G and A and B flat and C and D and E. In the key of F, you have one flat. So we'll talk about more about that later.